Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. Today, I wanted to bring you along as I reviewed the MRI of the cervical spine of a patient of mine impacted by MS. Hey! Now, what you see on the left-hand side is a side view of their cervical spinal cord. So it's as if we chopped them in half. Here's the back of their head. Here's their jawline. This is actually their tongue, believe it or not. Here is the front of their throat. Over here, you see the very base of the brain. And this gray thing coming down, that's the cervical spinal cord. Now, if we were to chop the spinal cord, let's just say right there, chop your neck off, so to speak, and then look down right here, this is the circle that we're looking down on. So on the right-hand side, we have the cross-sectional area through that blue line. This is called an axial image on the right and a sagittal image on the left. Now the type of imaging that we're doing, water is bright, so MS lesions are bright. And if you focus your attention on the left-hand side, the sagittal view, you'll see as we look at the cord, here I see a lesion, here I see a lesion, here I see a lesion, and way up here I see a lesion. And we're going to characterize each of those lesions by looking through the cross-sectional area on the right. So let's do that now. So my blue line is way up at the top, and I'm going to systematically walk down through the spinal cord. And when we get right here, we see some pathology. So look on the right-hand side where my cursor is, and you see this sort of football-shaped white area on the back of the spinal cord, way up top. You can see it up here on the left. This area controls sensory information from the body. It travels up the back of the spinal cord right through this area to go to the brain. And one would expect that someone with a lesion in this area may develop difficulty with processing sensation. In other words, they may be numb and tingly. And I can tell you that my patient is. Now, as we keep walking down through the spinal cord, again, my eyes are glued over here on the right. I see a very small lesion there on the left. You can see it right there. There's a larger area here. All of this white is pathologic. So this small lesion that we first saw became quite bigger when we go down a cut. And you can see that the entire front of the spinal cord is affected. Now, the front of the spinal cord controls the motor centers, and this person most certainly has difficulty with ambulation and leg strength, and this is quite an extensive lesion. It's still white here. You can see that on the right-hand side, more white there. So all of this is showing up right here and would predict difficulty with strength, and that's what we see in this patient. Here we see a lesion on this side. And so the cervical spinal cord is quite heavily affected by MS. We see that lesion there on the right side that I'm pointing out to you. And it's also quite extensive. It's through several cuts. And then we get below it, we see another lesion over here. I wanted to change the sequences so that we could look at the contrast dye. And so I'm going to put a side view after contrast on the left and a top-down view after contrast on the right. And you can see that the pictures look different, and this picture is obtained after the administration of contrast dye. And what I'm seeing is that there's no abnormal contrast enhancement. <laughs> the next assessment that I would like to make is comparing this current MRI against an old MRI of the cervical spine to make sure that we don't see any new lesions. So what I've done is I split my screen in half, and on the left-hand side of the screen, I've pulled up the new scan that we've been looking at this whole video. I'm going to put up the stir weighted uh, image, which allows me to make water bright. And on the right hand side of the screen, I'm going to fetch an old cervical spine MRI from 2020, so last year. And I'll put up the same kind of picture, so we're comparing apples to apples. Now, what this allows us to do is to conduct a side by side comparison. And what we can see is that the pathology that, that is seen up here at the C1 at the OBEX was noticed last year. I can see the shadow of it right there. And that this lesion right here at C3 was noted there last year. 
If we look down 2, 3, 4, 5, C6, we see that lesion at C6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can see that most certainly that lesion was there before. And if we look down at the bottom of the C-spine here, at the beginning of the T-spine, we can see that subtle bluss of a lesion there. And so what this allows us to feel confident in is that not only are there no new lesions, as demonstrated by the absence of contrast enhancement, but there are also no lesions as compared to what we saw last year, reassuring us that there's no new structural damage in the spinal cord. Very reassuring. If you'd like to learn more about MS and the MRI, please click the video that's on your screen right now. My name's Aaron Boster, and as always, thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video or my next live stream, or the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.